Okay, one of the things you have to keep in mind before you start a data visualization project or a presentation or before you even start telling a story with your data is to keep in mind the context. Now, let's talk about what happens if you don't keep in mind context. So if you don't have the context right, your presentation becomes uh, not relevant for that audience. So they will not care. So keeping uh, context in mind is the first step you have to think about when you start preparing your data visualization presentation or project. So there are three areas of context, the who, why, and what. Let's uh, deep dive into the who first. So if you know your audience, you have to be a little more specific. And a bad example, let's say I have to present to kids is, you know, my audience uh, right now are kids. Now I have to understand who the audience is at a little more, at a little more uh, deeper level. So their preferences, their interests. So in this example, the better example I have here is I have middle school kids who likes art. So now I can address their uh, interests a little more better in my presentation. Okay, And within that audience, is there a specific person or a group of people who ca you care about so that uh, you, know, uh, you can fine tune the presentation a little more? Uh, the reason is if this group or person uh, you care about uh, has to make a decision uh, you would like to add in that information within your presentation okay so the next thing is the why now do you need to build credibility before you start presenting it's up to you right so if they don't know you and you haven't worked with them in the past or they do not know you you might have to provide some background information on why you're you're working uh, uh, with this data or with this presentation, uh, the most important why here is that, is there anything there for them in the presentation? So if they do not get anything out of the presentation, you know, there's no point even presenting because they will, like I pointed out in the earlier slide, they might even fall asleep because it's not relevant to them, right? So uh, the other thing is, will this presentation affect anything they do now or in the future, right? So uh, it's about behavior, right? Uh, uh, is there anything here which could affect them, uh, uh, which could affect their lives, that could, they, could affect their environment? Uh, so that's the why. Now let's talk about the what. Uh, what actions do you want your audience to take, right? So example is, do you want them to join a movement? Do you want them to start a new habit? Do you want them to learn something? Do you want them to leave this room uh, remembering something, right? So the other what is what visuals do you want uh, to include so that it's easier for the audience to make decisions? Uh, the other question you might ask uh, is what is a successful outcome for this presentation? Or what data should I include which can make my case stronger? Uh, so that wraps everything up, but the real test to know that your presentation is actually working is to come up with a three minute pitch. So the three minute pitch does not include any slides. It's something you memorize so that you have a good handle uh, of your presentation. And the three minute pitch contain, uh, contains um, the area and problem you're trying to highlight. Uh, what is at stake? What key information you want to provide? And uh, what action your audience has to take. And if, you, if your audience has to take an action, there typically has to be some kind of benefit attached to that action. Okay, so I'll give you an example of what a three minute pitch looks like for your presentation. So this is, you know, this is something you do uh, after you, you know, create your presentation. You would test it out with a three minute pitch test to see if you can actually summarize it for, let's say your boss or your peer or your friend uh, when they ask you, hey, what is this presentation about? And this is an example of a three minute pitch, okay? So I will talk about artificial intelligence typically in data science, so my three minute pitch goes like this. As you might already know, artificial intelligence is a fast growing field which is touching our lives in almost every imaginable field. 
in the next 10 years at least 20 percent of the current job market will be affected our kids are our future leaders and they're not equipped enough uh, so my idea is to give them a head start a early and early exposure it, it would be great for them to enroll in classes which teaches them the basics right so that's like an example of a three-minute pitch and if you look at this you have the area the thing at stake so the current job market is going to be affected and some kind of benefit which I call the head start and an action here it's an enrollment in a class right so that is how you would do a three-minute pitch uh, because you know it summarizes your presentation in uh, without the charts and everything so this is a good test to ensure that you have your data visualization project or presentation in order thank you